Okay, I wanted to come back to uh, one more thing real quickly. I mentioned earlier that if I push this car with 10 newtons of force this way, the car will roll forward, and then eventually, though, friction will stop it. So there's a reason why that is. When I push the car initially with 10 newtons of force, okay, the car begins to be slowed down with the 3 newtons. If I don't continue to push that car with 10 newtons, then the force from this side becomes zero newtons. When it becomes zero newtons, suddenly the friction becomes the stronger force. And that three newtons works against the car until it finally brings it to a stop. And the forces become balanced again. Once the car stops moving altogether, then friction no longer exists either because the car is not moving and therefore friction becomes zero newtons as well. And that's why the car remains at rest.